quick graph one period of y equals three halves times the sine of the quantity one third x minus pi over two minus one by hand. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need paper and straight edge or you can download this PDF. Press pause as needed any time during this video. We want to graph one period so we need to analyze what all these parameters mean and how they affect the graph. So which parameters affect the y values? That would be the 3 halves times and the minus 1. The 3 halves times will multiply each y value by 3 halves, while the minus 1 will subtract 1 from each y value. And by the order of operations, we do multiplication before we do addition. And we need to look at the y values of the points of interest. So it's going to be 3 halves times the y value minus 1. The maximum normally at y equals 1. We need to multiply that by 3 halves and subtract 1. So that would be 3 halves minus 2 halves, which is 1 half. So the maximum is at positive 1 half. Points of inflection are normally at y equals 0 along the line, y equals 0. Multiply that by 3 halves and we get 0 minus 1 is negative 1. The minimum normally at y equals negative 1. 3 halves times negative 1 is negative 3 halves minus 1, which we'll think of as 2 halves, would be a negative 5 halves for the minimum. And we'll go ahead and put that in a quick summary right over here at the bottom. Which parameters affect the x values? That would be the 1 third times x and the minus pi over 2 inside the argument of the function. The beginning of a period normally starts at x equals 0. So what we're going to do is set the argument equal to 0 and solve for x. So go ahead and do that. Pause is needed. First thing I did was multiply by 6 because I like to clear out the fractions. And when I distribute the 6 on the left side, I get 2x minus 3 pi. On the other side, I get equal to 0. We'll add 3 pi to both sides and divide both sides by 2. And so this is where the period will begin at x equals positive 3 halves pi. The end of the period is normally at x equals 2 pi. So what I'm going to do is take that argument, that entire one, and set it equal to 2 pi and solve for x. We're going to ask you to do the same thing. Again, we'll multiply each side by 6, and that will leave us with 2x minus 3 pi on the left and 12 pi on the right. Add 3 pi to both sides and divide both sides by 2. And so the period is going to end at positive 15 pi over 2. We need to use all these values here to decide how we're going to mark the units off on both the x-axis and the y-axis. Pause is needed to decide that. So we suggest marking off every pi over 2 along the x-axis and at least have 3 pi over 2 to 15 pi over 2. And we suggest marking off each unit starting with at least y equals negative 3 up to y equals positive 1. And we do want to show halves. So go ahead and press pause to create your axes. So these are the axes we decided. I just want to point out the axes are not drawn square, but they're drawn fine for us. So again, there's pi over 2 marked off on the x-axis, halves marked along the y-axis. So let's put all this together, where it begins, where it ends, points of inflection, and so on. So we want to draw dotted horizontal lines along the three places of interest. The maximums at y equals 1 half. Points of inflection are along the line y equals negative 1. And the minimum is along the line y equals negative 2 and a half. So we need to plot the five points of interest along the sine graph. So we'll start off with the uh, 
first point of inflection at the beginning of the period, which is normally at zero, zero. But for our purposes, it's going to be three pi over two, negative one, because the period starts at three pi over two, and our points of interest, our point of inflection rather, are along the line y equals negative one. So there's our initial point right there that corresponds to this one. Go to the end of the period, which is normally two pi zero, a point of inflection. But for our purposes, it's going to be at 15 pi over two, comma, negative one, where our points of inflection are. And that's plotted way down here. Halfway between those is a, another point of inflection, normally at pi zero. In our case, we have to actually calculate where that is, and it's at four and a half pi, comma, negative one. So it's equidistant between these two points. Halfway between the first two points of inflection is a maximum, but in this case, it's going to be halfway between these at three pi and up to positive one half. So three pi, one half, and you can see that these are equidistant here. And the last is a minimum halfway between these two points of inflection. And so that's going to be at 6 pi down here at negative 5 halves, where it's halfway between these two points. Pause is needed. Connect the points as a sine wave. So that's frown or concave down, smile or concave up. And we only want one period, that would be fine for these complicated ones. And this is what it looks like in a beautiful sine wave. So I'd like to look at equivalent forms here to just kind of verify that what we did was correct. So I factored out the one-third inside the argument because I now can pick out that the phase shift is to the right pi over two, that minus three pi over two shifts it to the right three pi over two. And so that's right here at three pi over two, and it's also negative one, where the points of inflection are. So that verifies where we started. The period, remember, is affected inversely by this one third. So when I take two pi and multiply it by three, I get six pi, and that is the period where it starts at this point of inflection and ends at this point of inflection. Pause is needed. Now you try one, graph just one period of y equals three times the sine of the quantity, two x plus pi over four plus one. Remember, you're going to need to change the units and uh, pause is needed because we're just gonna show you the answer. So take your time, resume when you're ready. And so this is what the graph looks like. We do have showing where the max is, where the points of inflection are, where the minimum is, the beginning of the period, the end of the period. So that should be able to help check what you came up with on your own.